Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everybody's well. I'm finally, at the very least, able to read cards. So, uh, my voice is about 75% of the way back. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what, we are very quickly closing in on the last third of February. In fact, I think we're there now. So, I really need to get February done now that I'm able to talk. And I need to try to get March done by the 1st of March. So, as usual, we're going to push through, or at least try to. So, I got five left. Capricorn will be last, obviously, because they were first last set. Cancer, you are up. We're going to throw down cards for Cancer. It goes back. There we go. Okay. Oh, this reading will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with your Sun sign, Cancer, cool. It's your free will, too. But if you choose to do with the message given by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a crossbar. So our dear friend, the crosswatchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot Table. Everyone's always welcome here. I enjoy it when people stop by. Thank you for stopping by and taking time to watch this reading today. I don't know who is blowing up my phone right now, but I should probably check that because it's probably important. I apologize. Hold yeah, that was pretty important. I'm glad I dealt with that. Anyway, okay. So. Oh, two things before I do the invocation and throw the cards down. One. If it's not your reading, if it's not your message, if it's not your story, if it doesn't relate to you at all, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take with you what doesn't belong to you. Two, never make any life-altering major decisions based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. I read tarot when I would never in a million years do that. Okay? We're just having fun. Okay? Don't take it too seriously. And... Just because it says it in the cards doesn't mean that's what's going to happen because you have free will. You can change the cards. Okay. All right. Anyway. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any message you have for Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 2020. Let's bring Cancer to a high vibration in their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Cancer, why are you here? Queen of Cups. Huh. Hmm. Got the feels for somebody. Sorry, I finally had to mute the notifications on that so they're not blowing up my phone all morning. Queen of Cups. Some deep emotion here. Maybe you're the Queen of Cups. Offering a cup to someone. Do you have... Do you have a cup for somebody? Hmm. Hmm. All right. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with, Cancer? Net of Cups reversed. Maybe you feel like it's not mutual or they feel it but don't say it. Or maybe you don't know how to say it. What do they think of you? Seven of Cups. What, sorry, what do you think of them? Seven of Cups. Possibly you may think that they have other options. What do you want from them? The star. Oh, I love this. Could be an Aquarius. Wow, I got Aquarius in a whole lot of water so far, friends. Hmm. This talks about wish, wish fulfillment, dreams come true. I 
Are they a dream come true? Maybe you want your wish. Hmm, what do they think of you? Sorry, how do they feel about you? Six of Wands reversed. Mm. Maybe. I probably shouldn't speak too much to all the cards in the table, but it's a lack of victory. Hmm. Why would they feel like this is a lack of victory? What do they think of you? Ace of Swords reverse, no communication. No communication. Cancer, are you being quiet? Are you not saying how you feel? Are you just kind of holding the cup and not doing anything about it? Or is it them? Uh, what do they want from you, of you, for you, from you? Judgment reverse. Return. Reversal of judgment. Change your mind. What's the obstacle? Hanged man. Somebody up in the gallows? Up in those wonderful emotional gallows, just kind of hanging out. Trying to see things from both point of view while you're hanging by your feet. God, I can't even imagine how that would feel. I, I really can't. I have a hard enough time at an inversion table. I can't imagine straight up hanging from my feet. It would put things in perspective, though, wouldn't it? Hmm. What's the possible resolution? King of Pentacles reversed. Huh? To throw a clarifier on that. Maybe two different... Um, social classes are dealing with here. Possibly. I'm going to save this to the end. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Cancer, please? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. February 2020. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. February 2020. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, <laughs> not only do you hold a cup. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have a little more than the feels? Is it the feels? Like the sugar and spice and everything nice feels? Like... <laughs> If you're picking up what I'm putting down and you watch the channel enough, you know what I'm talking about. I dance around that. I try to keep it clean and PG. You hold the candle and the wand for someone. How about that? You hold the cup, the candle, and the wand. Yeah. Uh-huh. Definitely some, uh... Huh. Okay. That, that, that's some energy right there. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? Three of Cups reverse. Does something happen when you can't even be friends with this person? 
Has there been a disconnect amongst friends? Is that why there's a lack of communication? Is that why you can't give the... Oh, maybe. Um, Possibly you are friends with this person and you are afraid to say anything because you don't want to destroy friendship. Or vice versa. Hmm. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Hi. Ten of Swords just kind of flew out in the reverse. What you think of them? They have options. Why the Ten of Swords reversed? Why the Sun ain't shining? Why is this painful? Seven of Pentacles. Exercising patience. Possibly one of you is patiently waiting for someone's painful cycle to come to an end. But they have other options. Standing there quietly, patiently waiting. Meanwhile, having extremely deep feelings for someone. Okay. Why the star? No, I dropped those. We are not taking five cards. I hate it when I do that. This is why I wear yoga pants while I'm reading. Page of Cups. you want to be able to give them the cup. You want a healing to be able to offer that cup. Aww. You're waiting for him to heal. Why the six of wands reversed? Why the six of wands reversed? Ace of Pentacles. Oh, they feel like you're that golden coin. But because of a lack of victory, at some point they gotta take it slow. Let the seed grow slowly. So you don't want to hand the cup, even though you have very deep feelings, because you don't want to destroy your friendship. And they feel like you, they see the abundance. But they should take it slow. Because maybe possibly one of you has had a lack of victory in the past and needs to take it slow. Okay. Why the Ace of Swords reverse? Two pentacles reversed. (sighs) 
someone's afraid to cross those choppy waters. Somebody's afraid to change the situation. Somebody's not saying what they want to say or conveying how they feel, what they want to say because they don't want things to change. The Two of Pentacles in the Upright talks about change. It talks about the transition from that first pentacle to the rest of the pentacles, to the journey to the rest of the pentacles. Somebody don't want to. Okay, fair enough. Why judgment reversed? This is where it gets good. Why judgment reversed? Strength. Trusting each other. Recognizing the polarities in the relationship. Learning how to deal with them. Courage. Hmm. Okay. One more on that. Lovers. We already got a seven of cups here. So, I mean, there, there was choices. There was options. This is like screaming. Pick me, pick me. Hmm. Okay. Somebody's afraid. Why is the hanging man here? King of Swords. Oh, somebody got honest and logical. Somebody got guarded. Somebody's guarded. You see, okay. Uh, and I love, I love the King of Swords in the Witch's Tarot. Because he's got, I, it looks like a falcon to me. I know it's hard for me to tell. But he's got that little messenger falcon. <laughs> I'm assuming it's some kind of bird anyway. And he has that mighty sword that he protects himself with. Someone is very heavily guarded and tries to be logical over, over emotional. I think the obstacle here is someone just tried to accept it for what it was and tried to be logical and not emotional. Someone guarded their heart because they didn't want to get hurt again. I don't know if it was you or them cancer. And I'm not going to make a judgment call on that because it's not my story yours. So let me know. Let me know. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here for the possible resolution? Oh, hi. Are you going to land? Thanks. Seven of Wands reversed. Stop overthinking it. The Seven of Wands talks about internal struggles, or it can. It can also talk about taking charge of situation. Um, but it, you're fighting an unseen enemy in this card. Stop acknowledging the enemy. Remember what I said when this card got laid down? There's differences between you. Could be social class differences. 
Why are we acknowledging that? Why is it such a big deal? It wasn't a big deal. You, you guys could be friends dealing with it. Why can't, why can't we take it to the next level? Why not? One more on that. I saw it in the upright, so we're taking it in the upright. Get your victory. Who really cares about class differences? Why is that a big deal? So what? Somebody's got money? So? <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe you're different religions, different skin colors, different social classes. Who cares? We are all people. We're all apples that fell from the same freaking tree. Inside, we're all the same. Why are we letting these earthly differences get in the way of beautiful divine connections? Well, because somebody has more money than the other person or grew up with more money than the other person? Because maybe you, you don't believe the same spiritually or your skin's, the, your skin's the wrong color or God forbid you be the wrong sex. No, you can't have that. Please. Get real. Let's not. What's the outcome here? Manifesting new and beautiful things. Can I get one in the magician, please? <gasps> Karma reversed. It's a judgment card. Somebody's going to do a reversal of judgment and manifest beautiful new and beautiful and wonderful things in this connection. Somebody's going to go for it. And that's pretty cool. One more. Can I get one more? Five of Cups reversed. Somebody's going to walk away from sadness shores. I like it. Somebody's going to get through whatever they got to get through. I'm leaving it at that. Let's get your advice, friends. King of Swords, upright, Six of Cups reversed. Don't allow yourself to be so logical and so guarded that you end up putting a bad taste in somebody's mouth. So don't fight so hard to not destroy a friendship that you end up destroying a friendship. Because sometimes that one thing you were trying to avoid doing, you inevitably end up doing. Because you couldn't communicate honestly with each other. Death reverse, sun reverse. Sometimes, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Sometimes, if you fight the evolution of a connection and let it evolve however it's going to evolve, sometimes if you fight just letting it happen... 
you miss out on something that's going to bring you great happiness and great joy. Even if it's just for a moment. Let the moment happen. Six of Pentacles upright and the chariot in the upright. If you both give to it and you both give to it equally, you steer that chariot wherever it's meant to go. I'm leaving it at that, Cancer. Thank you so much for your time and your patience. Be blessed for the rest of February. Let me know if it resonated. I mean, this could have been going on the entire month of February. I don't know. I don't know. I got stupid sick and had laryngitis for over a week. It, it was like close to two weeks that I, in fact, it's starting to slip now. So I better just curb how much I talk right now. Just be blessed. Okay. I will catch you guys for your March readings just as soon as they get posted. Be kind. Love ya. Take care.